Today on Six Sister Stuff, we're sharing with you five new freezer meals to make in your Instant Pot or slow cooker. So my name is Kristen. And I'm Camille. And we know how much you guys love our freezer meals. So today we're coming at you with five new ones. Let's get cooking. So the first recipe is our sweet barbecue chicken. Now you can make this in the <laughs> slow cooker or the Instant Pot. We first started with about, I don't know, four chicken breasts in yeah. here. They're big chicken breasts. If you have small ones, I suggest using six. Okay, first we're gonna add a half a cup of brown sugar into it. And then we're gonna do a whole bottle of barbecue sauce. You can do your favorite kind, it doesn't matter, but um, we love Sweet Baby Ray's. It's usually a really good price too, but it's got good flavor. But any kind will work. What's your favorite one. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Next, we're gonna add a fourth a cup of apple cider vinegar. Yeah. Now you wanna add this, it gives it like the tangy flavor right. to it. I love it. You wanna balance out too the brown sugar. Like yes, you've got the sweet. acidity and the, the sweetness and together with the barbecue sauce, it's perfect. Okay, and then we're gonna do one, one tablespoon, tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire. Worcestershire. <laughs> However you want to say it, just make sure you add a tablespoon. There this is go. gonna kinda add some depth to your flavor. Okay. Perfect. That's it. All done. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna close it up. Now if you're gonna make this in the Instant Pot, I would suggest maybe adding a half a cup of water yep. right before you cook it. So you can cook it frozen, just add a half a cup of water while it cooks. You'll totally. cook it for about 25 minutes if it's frozen, about 20 minutes if it's thawed. Yeah. And then so. in your slow cooker, you're gonna want to do, I would say four to five hours on low, maybe up to six hours on low. Now chicken breasts don't have to cook as long, you don't wanna dry them out. So um, low and slow is the better way to go. Five hours is gonna be about perfect. If you do need to do it on high, two to three hours on high, just keep an eye on it. All right, done with this one, let's move on to the next. Okay, our next recipe that we're making today is a simple white chicken chili. This is one of my favorite recipes because it's so easy, just dump it in and go. You're... So I'm gonna jump right in. We're gonna start with two cups of shredded cooked chicken. So if you're at the grocery store, grab a rotisserie chicken. It's perfect for this recipe or any type of cooked chicken will yes. work great. Okay, next we're gonna add, it's two cups of chicken broth, so it's one can and a little, and a little bit, bit more. I know, yeah. cans just don't have quite two right. cups. And if you need to feed a little bit more people, yeah. you can add the whole two, yep. two cans if you want. To. Or if you prefer it to be thinner. Yeah. Okay, so the next thing we're adding are two cans of great northern beans. So make sure they're rinsed and drained. Um, this, it's just any type of white bean will work perfectly for this if you can't find the great northern bean, but uh, most grocery stores have them. Nice. All right, then we just have one jar of salsa verde. Is that how you say that? Yeah. Salsa verde. Salsa. Just green. The whole, <laughs> the whole jar. Yes. Yep. The two green cups stuff. of that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, and then we've got two teaspoons of cumin. Cumin, however you, you want to say it. it. Dump that in there. Yep, and you can add a little mm -hmm. bit of salt and pepper too yes. if you want to. Whatever seasonings Whatever you prefer. I sometimes will throw in some chili powder just to give it a little kick, red pepper flakes if you want a little more heat. You can also add in jalapenos. Yum. So, Okay, so that's it. Since this has already cooked chicken in it, in the Instant Pot, it's only gonna take five minutes. Right, so, if that, Yeah. if that. Seriously, it's so quick. And then in your slow cooker, basically all you have to do is heat it up. So I would go three to four hours on low tops. Um, you can also do this on your stove top. Throw it in, just heat it up, just takes about 20 up. minutes. Right, now we like to serve it with like chopped up cilantro, some yummy avocados on top, just yeah. to give it a little more flavor. You so. bet. Yeah. All right, so we're all done with this one. Let's move on to the next one. The next recipe is our beef and sweet potato stew. So we put about two pounds of cut up, what do you call this, cubed beef? Yeah, beef what? stew cubes. Beef you buy it this cubes. way at the grocery store. Know, isn't it great? <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm gonna let you do the spices and stuff first. So we're gonna start with about a quarter cup of flour. Now you can dredge the f the meat in the flour beforehand if you want, or you can kind of just give it a nice little mix while it's in there in the bag. You just kind of want all the beef to be covered in flour a little bit. And then we're gonna do some seasonings. So I've got a half teaspoon paprika, one teaspoon of parsley, a half teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of ground pepper, a one teaspoon of beef bouillon. So you can buy the beef bouillon cubes, or you can actually buy it powdered like this and sprinkle it right on top. 
perfect. Okay, um, let's see, let's do garlic yeah. first, then I'll add the big Whoop. step. So you wanna do about a half tablespoon of minced garlic, just a couple of cloves. I like garlic, so I always add a little bit more. Just gives it good flavor to me. Perfect. <laughs> okay. So next we're gonna add just one half of an onion. If you wanna add a whole, you can. Yeah, but whatever you like. Yeah. And then these are just three carrots that we chopped up. I love in stews with having the big carrots, so. Right, it's gonna cook for so long, they'll yes. be soft no matter what. Okay, then I'm gonna add in one red bell pepper, just right on top. Next, you're gonna add three stalks of celery. Now we're getting kind of full here, yes, so. Yes, this is a loaded freezer Shake meal. down a little bit, there <laughs> we go. Okay, and then we have two sweet potatoes that we peeled and mm -hmm. diced in here. Ooh. Okay, and the last one that we're gonna smash in here, we're gonna throw in about four to five baby golden potatoes. Now here's the thing, you can use any potato you want. Red potatoes will work great, russet potatoes will work great, just whatever you have on hand, but I do love the flavor of these golden potatoes. Okay, if they don't all fit, you can take some out. We might have to. Yep, and this is a recipe too, I would recommend you might wanna double back. That's a good idea. Yep. That's a really good it's idea. It's very Okay, I'm gonna actually take this out to give us a little bit more room. How's that sound? Great. Okay, I'll let you add the rest of that. There yeah. we go. All right, so then we just have a can of diced tomatoes, and you're gonna keep the juices in there just to give you a little bit more liquid. And then just one can of beef broth. It's going in on top for your liquid. Ooh. And there you go. All it right. Is we made it. Oh, we made it. <laughs> All right, so this recipe I feel will do best in the slow cooker. Yes, for sure. And this is one that you can cook low and slow all day long, eight to 10 hours on low, it's gonna be fine. Um, it can go as few as six though, if you need it sooner than that. However, could you do it in an instant you pot? You could, I would probably add, um, kind of keep it like this frozen, mm -hmm. and then add maybe a half a cup to a, an extra cup of chicken broth. So it won't be as thick as a normal stew, but it won't burn your Instant Pot, so. Okay, well there you go. Okay, done with this one. Let's move on to the next. Our next recipe is one of my favorites, Hawaiian pork tacos. So you shred this pork up and you can serve it any way you want, but tacos are delicious. We're gonna start with barbecue sauce, one cup of this. So go ahead, it's about half the bottle. Just squirt it right on top. Oh, I forgot to mention, first you need to start with the pork roast. <laughs> good, good idea, yeah. good idea. So I just have about a two pound pork roast in here, just a pork loin roast. It's a really lean cut of meat and it's a killer price. Like pork is one of my favorite things because it's so right. inexpensive. It's so cheap. So next we're gonna do one teaspoon of garlic powder. We're just gonna sprinkle it right on top. And then, because these are Hawaiian pork tacos, we're gonna do half a cup of pineapple juice. So go ahead and dump that in. And then just one teaspoon of liquid smoke. Now you can find this kind of by like the barbecue sauces yes. and stuff at most grocery stores. Yep, and it's really inexpensive, but it adds so much flavor. And if you like it, you can have it. Yeah, we love it. <laughs> we use it all the time. We do too, and a lot of it. <laughs> Perfect, okay. okay. Close that up. Now, this is one that you can do in a slow cooker uh -huh. or an Instant Pot. So in the slow cooker, because it is a roast, low and slow is the way to go. Do it for about, I would say, seven to eight hours on low. You could even go up to nine. It's one that you can leave in there all day long and then just shred it up when it's done. Nice, and then for your Instant Pot, I would cook it anywhere from 60 to 90 minutes. Sometimes I'll start it in the morning and just let it sit on warm the rest of the day. Yes. It makes it just so nice, juicy, and tender. So. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And then after you shred it up, we, like we said, serve it as tacos, um, just on uh, tortillas, and then you can add some cheese. My family loves to do quesadillas, so that that's really good too. But the link below to this recipe on our blog also includes a homemade pineapple salsa. So if you want to take these to the next level, be sure to check that out. We'll put the link down in the description for you guys. All right. All done with this one, let's yep. move on to our last one. Okay. The last recipe we're making is Tuscan soup. So we have about three chicken breasts all chopped up here. This is yep. gonna cook a lot faster because they are chopped, so yes. I'm a fan. Okay, first we're gonna add a can of cannellini beans or white beans, white beans. or just any white beans I feel will work yep. just fine. Totally. Let's dump that in. This is rinsed and drained, just yeah. make note. Okay, and then we've got one red bell pepper. You can chop this up as big or as little as you want. It just depends whatever your family eats. Right, and we have four tablespoons of tomato paste. So it's about half, 
passes the jar. Mm -hmm. If we call that a jar. What is this? Can. <laughs> mini, mini can. There we go. Yeah. Woo. Good. Okay, and then we've got one onion just diced up. Um, same, same thing, as big or as little pieces as you want. Perfect, and then one can of chicken broth. Just pour that right on top. And it wouldn't be good Italian food without garlic. So, Always two garlic. teaspoons of just minced garlic. You can use fresh or you can use this um, jarred garlic, whatever you got. And then for your seasonings, it's kind of just salt and pepper to taste, so however yep. much you like. And then when it's done cooking, you can add a little bit more too, so. Yeah, for sure. Just add in the salt. Test it out and try it. And then, if you want to, and if you've got it, a little bit of rosemary on top is delicious in I this love recipe. Rosemary. Yep. Love it. Okay, so the last thing we're gonna add is some baby spinach. Now you can add this right now and stick it in your freezer, or you can cook it as is and then stir the spinach in at the end. Doesn't matter, either way, it's going to really wilt down and be just some small leaves in there, like yeah. really small. Yeah. So your kids might not even notice. Your kids there. will not notice. Like I'm I've got about two cups in here, and that is gonna shrink down to nothing. Yeah. So Okay. Oh, close it up. I like the spinach too, because somehow my spinach always goes wilted whenever I need yeah, it. Yeah, so. this is a good way to use any spinach you've got in your fridge. Kale would also work in this recipe. That's very true. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can cook this in both the Instant Pot and slow cooker. Yep. The Instant Pot, you don't have to cook it very long. I would say anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes, and yeah. you're good, because that's all your chicken has to cook for, because it's Cut up. Yeah, because it's so small. And in the yes. slow cooker, I would say five to six hours on low, um, or you could do two, th two to three hours on high. Either one will work for this recipe. And if you want to check out more freezer meals, you can find them just right over here. And we'll see you guys next time. See ya. See ya.